Welcome back to Journey Through Alcapulon. So you all, I did want to let you all know that we received our visas. Um, yay! One of them. So we received our visas for Ghana and we need to get a couple of more visas. So the Ghana visa took approximately four to five days. Um, I took the paperwork up there myself because I wanted to ensure that they had all of the information they needed um, and that there were no um, hiccups or um, any other documents that they may require. I just wanted to make sure that someone was able to put their eyes on my visa packet um, for myself and my son. Um, and, and that way they could tell me if I was missing anything. Um, so yes, we received our visas. And so on to the next visa. There may be a twist to our travels. I'll let you know which country we're going to be traveling to first. But it's also very exciting and I'm so happy to um, be on this journey and sharing this journey with all of you. So until next time, you all be good and the journey through Alcapulon continues. Next video um, I will share with you all uh, will be our preparation because as you know, it's almost time for us to go. So I will share our preparations, um, you know, just as um, getting rid of some of the things in the house and uh, getting our luggage and packing um, and all that good stuff and just all the things that we um, decide to take with us, you know, the, the, the little special things, um, the necessary things, like I said, the uh, um, outlet adapters and um, just anything that we feel that we will need to make our travels and transition to the continent as seamless as possible. I did want to let you all know that, um, excuse me, take my earbub out. Um, I did want to let you all know that I found out that the yellow fever vaccine is required to enter into Ghana. I did not know that initially. So I reside in the nation's capital at the moment and it has been a hectic day calling around to all of these medical practices trying to locate this yellow fever vaccine. I opted out of um, any further vaccines for myself and for my son so I am very uh, disappointed that being a citizen here um, in the U.S. where the yellow fever um, virus is not very prevalent, um, and that we would even have to, um, that we would even be required to get it. I understand that that's probably a precautionary measure for U.S. citizens who are traveling to countries where the virus is prevalent, um, and it kind of you know ensures that they don't come back and spread that virus. I understand that still <laughs> um, it's a pain in the butt okay so I called around to all of these places and um, no one had it so apparently there's still a shortage on this vaccination um, what I have um, found out is that um, well I called around to quite a few places. Most of them didn't have it, but there were a couple that did actually have it. And one of the places, which uh, both of them are like these travel clinics or travel practices. Um, and so this is something that they specialize in, vaccinations that are required for travel. Um, excuse me. One of them, I think it was like passport travel or something like that. Um, they required that um, it was like an $85 um, visit fee for each person 
and the vaccination itself was $255. I'll say it again. So for first time patients, it's an $85 um, fee, uh, initial fee, and then it's $255 for the actual vaccine. This particular vaccination is not covered um, by most insurances, if not any insurances. It's out of network because it's not one of the uh, uh, usually required vaccinations that, um, you know, that we get like the measles and all those others. Um, so yeah, I said, oh no. So I would have to pay that for myself and my son, $85 for him, $85 for me, $255 for me, $255 for him. I called the other place. The price was pretty much almost the same, utterly ridiculous. I was so frustrated and pissed. Um, don't know where this, well, you know what? I'm not even gonna go there <laughs> about where this, the inception of this virus began, but um, I'll save that for another time. Utterly ridiculous. Um, I think it's also ridiculous that as an African woman, who um, is a descendant of slavery, which means I came to this country against my own, my, dis, my ancestors came to this country against their will. And so the fact that any African, regardless, um, but it, you know, especially for the ancestors that were taken away from the motherland by force, you know, no one, none of us, throughout the diaspora should be required to get all of these visas, none of us. We should not have to have visas to enter into any part of Al Capulon, any part. And we really need to raise our voices in putting this to an end. One thing that I also noticed is that most of the um, European countries do not require a visa to enter. Hmm, I wonder why. Made so easy for them. So they don't require a, a visa for the most part. While we, diasporans, you know, have to get, and especially those of us who happen to be in the U.S. are required to get all of these separate visas for these various, um, uh, for these various countries within Acapulco, which which did not exist <sighs> before colonization. And we really need to raise our voices to put an end to this. And we need to put pressure on our leaders to put an end to this. It's utterly ridiculous. So no, I will not be paying that fee. There is an alternative. Um, one is able to obtain the vaccination on arrival in Ghana for much less than that. So that it, there is an alter alternative. Um, so I did want to let you all know that. Um, so yeah, so stay tuned you all. Till next time.